I am Dr. Joel Zimatanis from the Medical Laboratory Science Program. With me are our two professors, Professor Jonathan Sai and Professor Jim Mechabelo. And we are here to give you information regarding how to perform venipuncture or so-called phlebotomy and later on the procedure on how to perform blood typing. The veins most commonly used for this purpose are those in the anticubital space, the depression on the inside arm in front of the elbow, the median cephali, and the median basilic vein. Veins on the dorsal wrist can also be used when it is impossible to collect from the anticubital fossa. Procedures in doing the syringe technique. Prepare paperwork. Identify the patient. Verify diet restrictions. Wash hands, put on gloves, and assemble equipment. Reassure and position the patient. Preparation of the needle and syringe. Applying the tourniquet. Selecting the vein. Applying antiseptic. Inserting the needle. Withdrawing the blood. Releasing the tourniquet. Transferring the blood. Label tubes. Transport this specimen to the laboratory. Procedures for blood typing. Identify the patient with the specimen. Divided a glass light by marking through the center, mark A on the left and B on the right. Place one drop of anti-A seal, color blue, in the square marked A. And one drop of anti-B seal, the yellow color, on the square marked B. Using the well-mixed coagulated blood, transfer a small amount or one drop of blood to each drop of anti -seed. With the aid of separate wooden applicator, mix well and observe for agglutination. Interpretation of the result. The blood group is determined 
on the basis of agglutination or absence of agglutination with anti-A serum and anti-B serum. The marked side of the side where agglutination is observed is said to be the blood group or blood type. If both marks show agglutination, the blood group or type is AB. And when both marks fail to show agglutination, the blood group or type is O. When tests are made with potent typing serum and of the whole blood, it is not necessary to observe for the long periods of time before designating the blood type or group. Agglutination will occur within seconds, except in the case of some weakly reacting antigens or agglutinogens, such as in the A and AB blood groups. Never forget that there are delayed reactions in this test. The blood type for our sample is type A, since there is agglutination on the marked A.